So lately, I've seen a lot of recent videos saying that linear is the way to go in Warzone, right? Everybody's like, use linear, this is a lot better, but what is the difference actually between dynamic and linear? People just tell you to use it, but they don't tell you what it is. Today, we're going to be jumping into that. So if we go to the aim response script, that the biggest two questions that we have, right, to use is either linear or dynamic. Now, I'm going to explain to you guys in the simplest terms on how this exactly works, right? Some people pull out graphs and pull out all these other different things, but that's not really the easiest way to explain. So think of it like a car, right? Think of dynamic like a car. If you step on the gas pedal, right, it's going to take time for, to go from zero to, let's say you want to go to 100 kilometers kilometers per hour right 100 miles per hour whatever it is it's not going to go from zero to 100 the second you step on the pedal so think of it like that with the controller so let me make this just a little bit bigger and you guys will see the control right here so if i move my aim to all the way to the left it's not going to go from zero to 100 miles per hour the second i move it with dynamic it's going to have a little build up speed right again just with a gas pedal if you push all the way down it's going to go up gradually until it reaches 100 miles per hour same thing right here if you got dynamic and you move all the way to the left is going to gradually build up speed until it gets to the perfect sensitivity that you want so if we translate that into sensitivity if you're playing in 99 sensitivity 44 sensitivity that means that when you move your controller to the right it's going to build up the sensitivity until it gets to that sensitivity right now, if we take a look at linear, it's the other way around. It doesn't have any build up speed. So kind of like if it was the fastest car in the world, right? If you move from here to the right, up, down, whatever you move it, it is gonna move at the sensitivity that you have it set with, right? So it's not gonna have any gradual build up speed at the beginning. But now, something that I feel they also don't talk about is the dead zone, because dead zone also does have to do with this, because dead zone is, again, it's the dead area in your controller that doesn't respond to movement. Now, obviously, we all know we use this when your controller moves by itself so the higher the dead zone the less in the middle this is going to work so if you have dynamic right like a dynamic response curve type and you have a really really high dead zone well then it's not really worth it that much and it's going to feel like if you have huge input lag because imagine you got dynamic so you've got that build up speed and then you got dead zone so like at the beginning it's not detecting it it's going to feel really 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 weird so you just have to realize that the lesser at the dead zone the more you're going to feel the dynamic and linear right and the more of a dead zone you have well the less of the dynamic and linear is gonna have be impacted now let's jump into well which one is better right should you choose linear like everybody's saying or should you go with dynamic so let me tell you which one is which one for so you want to use linear if you go on a really low sensitivity so let's say you're playing like four four three three maybe even like five five right so something in like a fairly low sensitivity reason being is because imagine you're already playing on a low sensitivity right and you bump up and you use dynamic and it's gonna be insanely slow i mean you got four four you're using dynamic and it's gonna be even slower when you move so that's why it's gonna be it's gonna feel like you're playing one one sensitivity so if you're playing anything like a low sensitivity then you want to go ahead and select linear that way it's gonna be the perfect sensitivity for you but now, if you are playing in anything above that, so let's say you're playing like the 9.9s, 8.8s, or obviously, you know, like the people that like to use high sense, like 15, 15, 20, 20, then I would definitely recommend dynamic for you. Because if you have a high sensitivity and you use linear, you are not going to be as precise. You see, the thing of dynamic, it works kind of like control freaks. So if we take a look here, dynamic works kind of like so in the middle, right? When you're aiming and when you're trying to get those precise shots in, dynamic helps you so your sensitivity isn't that fast, right? And you can hit a lot more precise shots. Just the same thing with control freaks, right? The higher the stick, the more precision you have. And then obviously, if you want to do flicks and move up and down and do whatever you want, then you're going to have that sensitivity that you have with. So with dynamic and a good sensitivity like 9.9, you can have the best of both worlds. You can have a good sensitivity, you know, you can move fast, but because you have that build up speed, you can have that slower sensitivity, you know, in quotation mark, because even if you have nine, nine, but you're just aiming here in the middle, it's gonna be like a gradual build up speed. So if you're moving your th thumbstick here precisely, even if you're playing nine, nine, but you're using dynamic, it would not be moving at nine, nine. So, what I recommend, you're using low sensitivity, use linear. But obviously, you guys saw, if you guys saw that video, I don't usually recommend 4-4 sensitivity. What the best one I'd recommend is use something like an 8-8-7-7 sensitivity, depending on what you can work on. I use 9-9 because of my control freaks. Use dynamic, and then you get the best of both worlds. You get dynamic, so you get the slow sensitivity at the beginning with your analog stick. And then if you want to move fast, you the, the build of speed is already there, right? But again, with, with the low sensitivity, sensitivity in the linear 
You're just stuck with the low sensitivity. You can't do any flicks. You can't do anything. So best of the both worlds gonna be dynamic. But let me know which one you guys use. Thank you for tuning in. Peace out.